Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about Gradle versus Maven. And we'll see uh, how Gradle is considered as a better uh, build automation tool as compared to Maven. Yeah. So here you can see I'm on the Gradle official website, which provided a uh, documentation for uh, Gradle versus Maven comparison, right? So here basically this comparison has been given uh, based on the flexibility, performance, user experience and dependency management. Yeah. So let's try to understand. When we talk about the flexibility, uh, first of all, you, you would be very happy to know that if you are an Android developer, then here you can see Google chose Gradle as an official build tool for Android. So if you are a Android or developer or you are working on Android application, mobile based application, then you have to learn Gradle because Gradle has declared as an official build automation tool for Android application. Yeah. Now, apart from that, Gradle also helps you to uh, work with native development like uh, with the uh, C, C++, C++ language, right? Now, when we talk about the Gradle, Gradle has a much more capability for customization, but Maven provides a very rigid model that makes customization tedious and sometimes impossible. Yeah. So these things you have to keep in mind. Now, next thing, performance. Based on the for, when you take performance, as, uh, per, based on the performance, if you compare a Gradle with Maven, then here uh, this performance comparison has considered on the top three features that makes Gradle much faster than Maven. And these uh, basically top three features are incrementality, then build cache and then Gradle daemon. So when you take the first Gradle avoids work by tracking input and output of task and only running that is necessary and only processing files that changes when possibly, right? So what basically so gradle basically uh, applies a, a incremental uh, build operation means uh, if something got changed then only some uh, some processing will happen if there is no change change uh, as uh, as per as per the uh, as compared to the previous build then gradle uh, basically build uh, will av avoid some phases in that manner uh, basically performance uh, it would be very faster in case of gradle Apart from the apart from that, Gradle uses some kind of caching mechanism, right? Right. So here you can see explanation reuses the build output of any other Gradle build with the same input, uh, including between machines, right? So Gradle uses a caching mechanism as well to improve the performance of build operation. Then third operation, Gradle daemon. So uh, here. So these things you can understand using this graph, right? So here you can see in y axis time has given in the seconds and x axis that is showing the build. So if you do clean build with test, then Gradle is going to take 14.79 seconds only. But maybe it is going to take 26.185 seconds, right? Similarly, uh, if you do the clean build, uh, right? by enabling the cache then Gradle is going to take uh, less than one second but uh, maybe is going to take 20 more than 25 seconds right let's say if you want to compile single change right if you do the single change in your project and if you compile then maven is uh, maven is going to take more than four seconds but Gradle is going to take less than one second that's the good thing now, based on the user experience, if you compare, then Gradle provides very good feature that is called build scan, right? If you do the build scan, then then Gradle is going to post your build information on the uh, basically somewhere on the remote computer, right? So that's scans.gradle.com. Apart from that, if you want to post your uh, build information uh, on your uh, basically own server or customized server, that is also provision to do that. And this uh, this online build information can be accessed by the uh, HTTP URL from anywhere. That's the beauty of these things, right? 
now let's go to the slide and here I am going to show you some of the important difference between uh, Gradle and Maven right so first difference is it is uh, Maven is a software project management system that is primarily used for Java projects yeah yeah when you take the another side uh, Gradle is a build automation system that uses Groovy or Kotlin based DSL or domain specific language that means uh, while writing the script in Gradle, you may use either Groovy or Kotlin as a build script language. Yeah. Now, in case of Maven, Maven uses XML file for declaring the projects, its dependencies, uh, the build order and the required plugins. Right. So in Maven, you have a pom.xml there you are going to uh, define your uh, uh, or project related configuration dependencies, uh, build order as well as the uh, required plugins. But in case of Gradle, we are not using XML. Instead, we are using a, a language like Groovy or Kotlin to define our build script, scripting uh, file. Now, here uh, Maven is based on the phases of fixed and linear model. But uh, if you look into the Gradle, Gradle based on the graph of task dependencies and that do the work, right? Now, uh, now. Uh, here if you look into the basically here uh, this point uh, was supposed to left and this was supposed to right so there is uh, some mistake on the slide so if you took into the right side point maven does not use incre incrementability or build caches thus its build time is slower than gradle right already we have seen in the gradle website right maven basically uses in incrementality uh, feature as well as the build caches to uh, perform the uh, basically build process faster but in case of uh, basically uh, gradle gradle mechanism uh, uses incrementality and work avoidance allow for faster build time right now uh, maven has a limited number of parameters and requirements so customization is bit complicated as we had already seen on the official website but uh, Gradle is highly customizable. It provides a wide range of uh, range of ID support, custom builds. Now, Gradle scripts are short, clean, and easy to understand, right? Uh, but uh, in case of Maven, may we write the huge XML to define all the project-related configuration dependencies on all, right? And that is that 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 seems to be very complicated, right? So that's all I wanted to discuss in this video tutorial, guys. Guys, big thank you for watching this video.